Do you believe that electric vehicles are only good for short-range city commuting? We will try to prove you wrong by showing remarkable off-road capable EVs that do not shy away from tackling the toughest of terrains, wading rivers or rock climbing. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Ring that bell button and let's dive into the world of uncompromising electric machines. This off-road beast was designed by Spark Racing Technology specifically to compete in the new off-road focused Extreme E Racing Series. Its prototype was presented at the 2019 Goodwind Festival of Speed, while the car's first race should coincide with the 2021 inaugural championship of the series, the Odyssey 21 is a combined effort of the industry's leading engineers and manufacturers. Equipped with a battery from Williams Advanced Engineering and four motors, sending 550 horses and 700 pound-feet to all four wheels. The vehicle is built on a tubular steel alloy frame fitted with a double wishbone suspension that offers 15 inches of travel. Its 37-inch off-road tires are supplied by Continental, while the brakes are from Alcon. Along with the production electric cars, Audi has been busy developing a lineup of conceptual EVs as a promotional campaign for the technological future of the brand. The latest introduction into the AI family is the Trail, which resembles a legitimate Mars rover from sci-fi. Audi, however, is not planning to blast this off-roader into the open space. Instead, it serves as a demonstration of a four-seat desert crawler powered by four independent motors with 435 horsepower and 738 pound-feet of torque combined. Riding on 22-inch wheels, the AI trail will cover 140 miles on the unforgiving terrain or 280 on the highway. The most exciting feature of this exploration vehicle is autonomous driving, even through rough patches with the help of special lighting and guidance drones. This is a fully revised second-generation version of the off-road capable electric moped by the Toronto-based company Daymac that offers new battery options, gets a Bluetooth controller, and has a max speed of 25 miles per hour in the off-road mode. Currently, the electric bike is available in three modifications, the road legal standard and deluxe powered by a single 500-watt motor, and the off-road only D that adds a second front hub mill. Later in 2020, the 2.0 has been announced to get another trim, distinguished by the new cutting edge LTO battery that is good for 31 miles, supports rapid charging, and has a life cycle of 20,000 charges. In the works since 2016, the NZT is what Nikola calls an off-highway electric vehicle that is designed to conquer any trails and hills. The model is powered by four independent electric motors 
producing 590 horses and 775 pound-feet of torque. Thanks to this setup, the NZT is claimed to accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 4 seconds. The vehicle rides on huge 35-inch Kevlar reinforced tires, offers 12 inches of ground clearance, and gets premium suspension components, including Fox 3.0 internal bypass shocks with 18 inches of travel. It can also cover up to 150 miles on a charge thanks to its 125 kilowatt hour battery. In addition, all NZT components are rated IP67 waterproof, which means that the machine could survive 30 minutes submerged in one meter high waters. One of the most promising electric pickups on the market, the R1T from Rivian, is a do-it-all model that excels at everyday tasks, can easily double duty as an off-road machine, and has solid overlanding potential. The truck is expected to start production in 2020, and it will arrive in three modifications, offering from 400 to 750 horses of output a range between 230 and 400 miles, and a max towing of 11,000 pounds. It will also get optional factory-made camping accessories like a pull-out kitchen and plenty of standard off-road perks, such as 14 inches of ground clearance, 3 feet water wading capabilities, and standard all-wheel drive. This lineup would not be complete without an off-road capable electric motorcycle, and the top dog in this class is undoubtedly Zero FX. It comes in two battery configurations, 3.6 kilowatt hour and 7.2. The former one is able to juice the motor to make 27 horsepower, while the latter manages to squeeze out 46. These parameters put the FX into the category of 250cc bikes and even borderline 450 cubic centimeters internal combustion models. Given that the Zero FX will be probably ridden both in the city at low speeds and put through its paces off-road, the combined range should be mentioned. It corresponds to 27 and 54 miles respectively. This electric truck by the New York startup company Bollinger first surfaced in its prototype form at the 2018 LA Auto Show and in 2020 it is expected to finally hit the assembly lines. The B2 pickup is propelled by the 120 kilowatt hour battery and the dual motor all wheel drive setup delivering 614 horses and 668 pound feet. This drivetrain is reported to ensure excellent acceleration to 60 in 4.5 seconds 
and the maximum speed of 100 miles per hour. The truck's range, however, is rather modest by the current standards, being limited to 200 miles. The main advantages of the B2 are its 5,000-pound payload rating, extendable bed length, 3 feet water wading capability, and variable ground clearance. Many off-roaders would complain that the limited range of EVs totally renders them useless in this field. It is indeed a legitimate concern, but such vehicles as utility side-by-sides rarely cover more than 30 miles per day, and this is the number easily reachable by the modern electrified models. Meet the Polaris Ranger EV, which has been on the market since 2016 offering maintenance-free and efficient operation to the farmers, hunters, and trail riders alike. Depending on the modification, this vehicle is juiced by either a traditional lead-acid or lithium-ion batteries, the latter extending the range from 30 to 50 miles on a charge and decreasing the weight by 500 pounds. The Ranger can carry up to 1,000 pounds of payload and tow 1,500 pounds. Thank you for visiting our channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, hit the like button, and don't think twice about watching more episodes about electric vehicles. The links are waiting for you on the screen. See you later.